Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again, it's time for current events in the online fitness community. And here I am, guys. I've tuned in to this whole Kelly Muscle saga. And again, <laughs> some other people kind of led me down the road to this. They told me to watch one of his other videos, and I scrolled into the comments early in it and saw people talking about his testosterone and a medical doctor uh, discussing it with him. I went to that actual live stream with that doctor um, I'm not going to get into some of the nonsense the pharmacist told him uh, the, the doctor who is a pharmacist um, and some of the nonsense because a lot of it there is you know very easily debunked uh, and we don't need to go there I'm, I, I don't need to bring another person into this make a new enemy uh, but the thing is was shocking that the guy tells said something that, that first of all is a myth that, oh yeah, our ancestors had testosterones of, of 1,000 or 1,200 nanograms per deciliter. That's actually a, a myth. That's not actually true. Uh, I am very aware of the data on declining testosterones. And people who have made those claims, it's not based on the real science. It's based on extrapolations because of the shifts that we've seen. And we know that obesity is, is the largest factor. Like we, this has already been figured out. This is why testosterone levels are going down in Western men at all is, is, is because of obesity. That's, that's why we're getting too fat. Okay, now that being said, there is zero evidence whatsoever that those levels were that high. And we need to be very clear on that. And, and also, even if that was the case, then people who uh, were just healthier and following these sorts of diets would all have high testosterone. And they don't. When you look at a lot of blood works of people doing these raw vegan diets and stuff, they don't have high testosterone at all. It's, it's, it's almost never high let alone above the normal range. Like, they're not sitting here at a 1,000. It doesn't happen. So here we have it. Callie's over here pointing this out and saying, oh, yeah, I mean, my testosterone is now 1,500. Keep in mind the range being reference range is uh, 300 to 1,000, right? Anyone see a problem with this? Keeping in mind people who get like 900 and 1,000, those are genetic and statistical outliers. It's there, that's why the range goes up to 1,000 on the reference range, is because there's like 1% of the population does that. Okay, and I wanna be clear there. Like 1% of the population at, at 20 years old has numbers up that high. So because it does exist, it has to kind of be on the reference range, but those are extreme outliers. All right, in Callie's case, he is older, so testosterone is gonna naturally decline. He has a previous history of many years of anabolic abuse. That lowers our testosterone also. Like, once you have done that for many years, um, guess what happens? Your levels are suppressed. You're not going to very easily have even healthy levels, right? So for someone like, like Callie, if he were to even come back with, with 500, it would be impressive. Like that would be, oh wow, he really bounced back. It would be unexpected. Now he had some blood work that bounced around a little, right? He had some that showed 770, that one that showed 250. All right, do you guys see the issue here? You guys see what I'm, what I'm, I'm saying? As someone who is very, very up to speed on these things and knows a lot about anabolics, the 250 is probably when he was completely off was at a low point, the 770 is enhanced. Right? I want to be clear here. That's basically a, a solid TRT amount. Not people who've, who have had health scares, who are older and, been, and have suppressed their, their production from years of gear use. He wouldn't be 700 plus. It just, it's, it's, it's just statistically almost impossible. So much so that, again, you, you could safely bet on that, that, that he wasn't really producing that much amount. Okay, now when he comes back with 1,500, let's, let's come over and just, just cut the, the BS. Callie has talked all about how gear is bad and testosterone is bad and all this stuff, yet here he is now, all of a sudden, while doing all this fasting and, and pretending this diet has done all these things for him, He's at a super physiological amount, okay? In other words, you guys ready? This would be considered almost absolute proof. So for him to come back at 1,500, 
I want to be very clear. For him to be at 1,500 is all the evidence you need that he is on gear. Okay? You, you go get tested and you show 1,500 on a drug test as a tested athlete, you're kicked out of your sport. Automatic guilty. You're not going to be able to appeal that. You're done. That's it. They don't need any other proof. Okay. His 1,500 is literally all the proof you need. His self-admission, his blood work, and then a PhD in pharmacy standing there saying, yeah, I've never seen anything like that. Like, you can tell he's trying not to say it. Okay? Everybody knows. Like, Callie's back on gear. And, and, and what I'm telling people is that's not speculation. Unless he made that number up and the, the person looking at it who's, again, credentials are now on the line. Unless everybody involved in the lab and everything is lying, then he is 100% back on the sauce. Not saying that's a huge amount, but it's a nice little moderate amount. It's not, it's not a TRT amount. Okay, that is a self-admission. That's it. That's, that's the evidence. It's right there. He's back on gear. Now, this is the same guy who's had a heart attack, had these health issues, now following a crazy diet with all sorts of fasting, who has said he's coming off of his medications. But he's going to put testosterone back in his body. Now, I'm very pro-TRT, I'm pro-testosterone, but let's just call it like it is. That's what he's doing. So, I don't see why he's scared of medications. His doctors want to give him for heart health. He's willing to, to pen some tests but he's not willing to now take the doctor's medicine that the cardiologist think that he needs to take. And instead, he's gonna follow weird quack diets. He's gonna blast test again, because that's what he's doing. We're not, we're not on a cruise, this is not. 1500 is, is, is no longer a replacement dose. Okay, he is, he is on basically a low dose cycle. Okay, but it's above the normal range. And refusing to take his, his cardiologist meds and following crazy diets with fasting has already had more health scares. Um, and he's lying again about his gear use. It's just a bold-faced lie. Because that 1500 is an admission. That's an admission. And people can go check and figure out and look at studies and charts and figure out about how much approximately how much he's taken based on that. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.